Good morning everybody and welcome back to another vlog. So today I got a pretty interesting day going on. We're actually gonna go see a commercial property that I'm possibly gonna wholesale. Might be my first wholesale commercial property. Also, right now, I'm gonna go pick up a boat for my brother. Well, it's actually his boat, but I, we gotta transfer trailers. Something I really don't wanna do right now, but you know, it's for my brother, gotta get it done. So let's go ahead and start the day. It's about 7.53. Um, I think the rest of my text messages also are gonna go out in about an hour and I got a bunch of other stuff that I gotta do coordinate a couple other closings get a couple other things going and see where it goes I don't know where my brother has me going, but this looks like more like the scene of a future murder over here. You got a bunch of junk cars and stuff back here. I'm kinda scared. <laughs> Not really. But this doesn't I mean I don't know where the heck this trailer is. But we'll find out. Let me let me give this this guy a call real quick. All right, so I finally made it home. I, I actually got home earlier, but I ran back out. The buyer to my property wanted to see the property before closing day. We're closing now within two days. So they wanna make sure that nothing has changed on the property, such as, you know, they destroyed the property, ripped out copper wiring or piping out of the wall. The the normal stuff that crazy people do when they, <laughs> when they sell a house and they're gonna get some money, they just start tearing stuff up. But she just wanted to verify and make sure everything was okay and everything turned out to be good. So I was happy about that. Um, as well as the documents are all in order. Hopefully we're gonna be closing in the next two days, which keep my fingers crossed, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna go through. They already submitted for funding. This should be done. And I'm happy for this to be over because I'm tired of dealing with this closing. It's been a real pain in the butt, roller coaster ride. Usually it is when you're moving people out of the property, but you know, it is what it is. So back to uh, another thing from my last few vlogs that you guys have seen that I sent out some text messaging. So today, finally, we actually picked up two properties under contract from that text message blast. We text messaged about 3000 people. We actually reached about 1500 to about yeah, like 15 to 1700 people, maybe 2000. And we picked up two properties on it. Well, technically it's three properties under contract. The commercial property that I was trying to see today, the lady is not picking up, but we're trying to get that one also. I'm really excited. I'm going to keep up with her, just keep following up that way we can get in on the property. But we've we've been doing pretty good lately. I, I'm pretty happy with the way things are going and hopefully they'll continue to go the way that they're going right now. It's just been, man, it's been really, really rough. Uh, I mean, some days I, I have good days. I don't have much going on, but other days are extremely busy like today. Today, back and forth running around. And then hopefully I, I'm praying that this lady will, <laughs> you know, give us a call. That way we can just go over there and take a look because this one is a really good deal. I mean, really, really good. I'm not going to share the numbers yet until I get it under contract and maybe we'll walk the property, but still hoping on it. It's still early. It's one o'clock. So hopefully within an hour or so, she'll give us a call uh my my cold caller texted her called her and i've been calling her so uh, hopefully it goes well now the other property that I, the other two properties that i picked up through text messaging well three properties it's two houses two rental properties that a guy owns not really interested in keeping them anymore he's been getting a lot of phone calls and they decided you know what maybe we should just let them go we'll be having that on their contract within the next few minutes i haven't even seen it yet but i know that i can make those numbers work which is about a hundred thousand the other property 
was a vacant lot. We picked it up for what, $8,000 and we already wholesaled it to one of my end buyers that's buying land. We sold it to him for like 20. So happy about that. Gonna keep all these closings rolling. I have, I think one closing. Yeah, I have I have one closing going on, uh, I think next week. I have a few closings going on. Uh, I think I got like six total. So it's gonna be a pretty, pretty decent month for us. We usually close about two to three a month, but this month possibly six or more and then i have another property that we went to see over the weekend with a realtor and we possibly have that one under contract as well they have accepted our price but they're waiting to you know think about it today to see if they're going to go ahead and roll with us with an agreement i already have that one as well wholesaled i think i talked about it yesterday we already have our end buyer standing on on uh standby waiting to buy it's pretty good you know you just gotta literally guys stay consistent that's the only thing keeping me closing deals is staying consistent when you stay consistent and you just keep pushing hard you guys will close a lot of deals you really really will and i mean the more manpower you have as well you make more deals happen we're, we're not trying to get that big to be honest three people is more than enough to what we need other part of this equation now is just make the money grow all right so for the rest of the day didn't really have much that i did kind of rearranged some leads around and also looked at a couple properties as well as kind of explored some different marketing options picked up some land we also picked up two houses so really good day i would say you know three houses on the contract that's fantastic with a possible fourth from saturday definitely is overwhelming i'm i'm happy that everything is moving along with my closing and hopefully we can close by friday i was hoping thursday but i don't think that's gonna happen uh more than likely it's gonna be friday my other closing that was supposed to happen this friday is actually gonna be on monday so so I got two closings and then I have a third closing that's happening next week as well. I think I have a few more that are closing, but I, I got to look at my list and see what's going on. Definitely gets overwhelming after a while when you have so many closings because each one needs its own different attention to it. And it, it gets to be, you know, quite a bit to handle sometimes. I'm happy that I have this type of problem because I wouldn't have this problem if I wasn't wholesaling. Simple as that. But to all of you guys out there, I'm not trying to brag on how many properties I have on the contract or how many closings I have just want to show you guys exactly what it's like to be a wholesaler it's a lot of work a lot of dedication but the reward is enormous i mean we have made quite a bit of money this year and the year is not over yet we still have about what another two months before the year ends uh we're in october so yeah november december so two more months and we still have properties that i'm pretty sure we're going to get under contract and i'm pretty sure there's plenty more for us to do this year the year is not over so there's a lot of work to do unfortunately i wasn't able to get a hold of the lady for the commercial property which sucks but it is what it is you know hopefully we can try harder tomorrow we're gonna keep calling her keep trying to pick this property up because definitely it is worth picking up i mean i'm gonna make a good amount of money lady doesn't want it anymore and we need to help her out especially city's about to take it i appreciate you all being with me i'm gonna go ahead and head out i will see you guys on the next vlog